Welcome to the Nourish and Restore podcast with me, Nina, and my awesome friend, Nicole, where we bring all things nourishing and restorative to you, your body, mind, and soul. A chance for you to enjoy simple tools to help you live a happier, healthier, and more peaceful life. Join us in conversation as we explore our interesting theme for today. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Nourish and Restore podcast with me, Nicole Angelica Panza, and my awesome partner in health and wellness, Nina Sachs. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you? How are you, Nicole? I'm good. Thanks, Nina. How are things going your side? Yeah. Uh, a little busier than usual, like I was just uh, mentioning before we got into this um, chat or recording, I've got a little rescue diaper, which is like a little deer, a little buck. Um, and so kind of like my mornings aren't quite my, my own anymore. My <laughs> late afternoons aren't quite my own anymore. I have like navigate like a little bit of a feeding schedule in there. Um, so you know things like that's life things come up and change and and all of that and um and she's very very sweet and uh, yeah I wouldn't wouldn't change it for the world um but yeah it's just, it's just like how can we shift our routine a little so that we can still feel nourished and nurtured and restored by the end of the day without um you know maybe doing the full practices that we're used to so so that's kind of like where I'm at and what I'm what I'm playing with um and how about you how are things going on your side yeah I'm also finding my feet in my new role as just being me <laughs> it's crazy when you dedicate your life for 17 and a half years to someone um being my child um and and not having her living with me anymore at, at the moment um kind of leaves a lot of open time that could be very quickly filled but you know here putting um what we've learned and what we're teaching into practice this is always such a great test you know is um can we see it ourselves can we acknowledge it and actually really enjoying being able to just hold the space for myself you know hold the space with whatever is coming and with whatever is going. And as I said earlier on when we were talking, I kind of feel like I'm, you know, holding fort in the middle of the storm, <laughs> um, watching things blow away very quickly and, you know, just being grateful and open to, to receiving whatever wants to come in. So yeah, exciting times, exciting times, which also brings us to our new little adventure here always trying something new on our podcast series um exactly. yeah so yeah so before we kind of like go and share in like kind of our adventure with the podcast series um because we did quite a bit of brainstorming last month where, where are you work-wise what are you up to what are what is going on with you in that sphere because now you have this time and this space um so so what has that been looking like for you in this past month well uh to be completely honest with you um yeah it's been rather hectic my side so I haven't really been able to um think too much about work and and um what I want to present to the world I suppose it's still very much the same you know I'm still very much loving my energetic work I'm still very much loving the connecting to the elements connecting to the earth connecting you know to the higher uh, sources the higher energies and I suppose what's coming through me is really wanting to share those teachings you know it's for me I'm feeling that it's very important that we learn about all of ourselves you know everything about us not just the tangible not just what we can see not just what we can feel um, or what we've told to feel and what we've told what the emotion is you know so um but to really truly experience it through your own experience um yes yeah, so that really is 
the heart of my business and uh, obviously helping clients on one-on-one -on -one with balances um, and and then also working towards my workshops which yeah I'm, I'm quite excited about and I'm going to try and also have them be partly online partly live so that you know we're able to kind of uh, bring in a broader audience but to be honest with you the first two three weeks have been chaos here i arrived i was sick i had a tooth pulled <laughs> getting the apartment organized uh, to be able to work from home and now slowly slowly finding my feet and moving forward from there yes so i'm very excited about the next couple of months um so we'll see. Yes. Lovely, oh, lovely. Yeah. So kind of like Nicole, what it really sounds like, what you're saying, kind of like with, you know, things being quite hectic, but also pulling back somewhat and, you know, there being this bit of a, like a, like a, not, 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 not like a nothing happening with work, but it seems like it was more like, like a winter phase where things were like, maybe like a little quieter, like things were getting done under cover, the, the painting and the organizing of the apartment, um, you know, like, like stuff was just happening under the surface that maybe, you know, your clients or the general public weren't really aware of. And it sounds like now you're ready to kind of like reach into to spring, even though you're up in the Northern hemisphere. And, <laughs> exactly, and I was going to say it. But uh, yeah. work-wise, yeah. the work is like in this little spring phase. And I think that's what I love about the seasons. It doesn't just necessarily mean like the season we're actually in. We can actually look like, you know, where are we physically? You know, where are we mentally? In like what season? Where are we work-wise? In what season? Um, so I, I, I love that. I love that. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. You know, I think feel really working into that foundational phase. And it was so funny because I was in Cape Town for the Cape Town winter for a couple of weeks. And that really felt like that, you know, it really felt like I was kind of cocooning or, you know, and then arriving here and, and getting the foundation organized and sorted and now being able to exactly emerge into the rest of what we still have summer before our autumn arrives. I'm going to quickly <laughs> pop through the last bit of spring. <laughs> well, I'm just going to hang on to your spring for you. There we go. There we go. Love it. Love it. And that kind of like brings us to kind of like the new theme and topic because we did like a lot of brainstorming in the month um, with regards to like where we want to go and what we want to be doing with our podcasts. And so what we've kind of worked out and decided is, is that we kind of like going to flick flack between the two of us each month. Um, and share about a specific topic or something that interests us. And for me, as everyone may have gathered, it's going to be all about spring this month. So I'm going to knock us off in September. And this month is going to be all about spring. And it doesn't necessarily mean that um, it's only for the guys in the Southern Hemisphere. Like you might be in, like, in a spring phase in a different part of your um, work life or in maybe like your relationship or your health or where you all connection with your body so just kind of looking at, at the concepts and seeing where where they fit in um, that is appropriate so so that is yeah where, where we're going spring exciting Absolutely. what I'm excited what, what do you kind of like when when we talk when we think of spring what comes to mind for you because there's lots that comes to mind for me, but I'd love to hear your thoughts as well, Nicole. Just for me, the first thing that comes to mind is new life, you know, blossoming into a new life. You know, it could be a new way of being. It could be a new way of doing things. It could be birthing a new project. Yeah, so much. And color, color, lightness. Yeah. And that's exactly it. So it's all this kind of like about possibility and moving into new potential. It's kind of like if you think of like a little shoot or a little bud coming out, you know, there, there's so many of these, these little seeds that are slowly starting to germinate and it's just, there's abundance of it. Um, and 
like you're saying, like it just seems like colors get more vibrant. There's more vitality. There's more energy. There's kind of like so much more activity and action that that is wanting to to happen. There's a lot of love in the air. You know, the the birds and the animals are all busy, busy getting frisky at this time of the year. <laughs> um, it's it's, a, <laughs> it's it's just so lovely to. It, I find it like very energizing and um uplifting i think um the other thing that i do notice with with spring is that like with this abundance of like say little seedlings germinating there it's like our ideas we often have so many ideas like in winter we kind of like you know we're, we're planting the seeds and now all of a sudden everything is germinated at the same time and it's actually quite important for us to take a step back and see Absolutely. okay which seeds which little seedlings are going to serve me or my purpose or where I'm heading in life the the best because Absolutely. we can't look after all of them and make all of them come into fruition like we need to do a little bit of weeding so that there's space so that they can all expand into mm -hmm. their beautiful potential because otherwise what happens is they all grow and they there's too much happening and by the time summer comes there's not enough water there's not enough nutrients in the soil and they all kind of like collapse Absolutely. and yeah. die and then you're not left with anything and then you feel crap <laughs> because you haven't achieved anything <laughs> absolutely yeah I agree with you 100%. And also, I suppose it's the excitement of moving out of that sluggishness, that winter, and also because the weather, obviously, is also very different, you know, that wanting to come out, that wanting to be outside, um, and, you know, maybe getting back into your sports or your a fresher routine. So, yes, it's very exciting. I'm looking forward to that. And that's the thing, like, I think as well, like you say, you know, it's Throughout the year and with the seasons, we can't just have the same routine. Like mm. our winter, what we eat in winter, our routine in winter, kind of like how we work in winter is very different to what's happening in, in spring now because uh, it is yeah. a burst of energy. So we can get out and we can, you know, enjoy more intense hikes or longer walks or um, maybe just being a lot more more active in in that sense um so so yeah we we need to I think be mindful you know now with all the green shoots coming up we can change our diet as well and from kind of like you know the soups and the stews and and the heaviness that we were having in winter which we needed to to nourish and sustain us we can now get into like more leafy greens and really just see what is growing outside in our in our backyards and um mm. and eat that mm. absolutely yeah yeah so Very then I think, sorry so one last thing yeah. i'm going to kind of like go with is you know not everyone i think is as excited about spring as we are you know there are a lot of people who struggle with like allergies and eczema and spring or seasonal colds and 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 to me that's just like a way that the body is saying hey you're not quite fully rested you didn't maybe rest enough in winter and you're not quite connected to to the rhythms around you like there's 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 an imbalance there's something not quite gelling there with regards to if your body is coming up with all of these things like there's 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 an imbalance somewhere and okay. it's a great time to kind of do this decluttering cleaning house emptying so that you can really make sure that you know as summer comes that you're able to to enjoy it fully and and move into it so not struggling through your spring yeah 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 <laughs> so I suppose that just leaves me kind of like with the work that I've been doing this month is like finalizing and getting my clean eating challenge sorted I've actually like probably going to rename it like living lighter because like challenge isn't always great but it's kind of like seven days where we come together and we just do practices that help us to clean up our system and um, live a lot lighter. So I've been pretty much working on this this month. That's going to be out. That's going to be happening in October. So our listeners, if they're wanting to join something exciting, they can always um, check in with that. So, so yeah, that's, that's me, my spring updates and what I've been up to. Um, any other thoughts on your side? 
No, Nina, I'm looking forward to your tips, your tricks, and yeah, and everything that you have to offer for the month of September. I think it's going to be a beautiful journey with you. Cool. Yeah. So next week, we'll have a look at a couple of tips and tricks for spring, my, my top six tips. And then we'll do like a little, a really nice um, yoga practice that'll help to le relieve congestion for those who are congested. And then we'll end the month with a, a contemplation slash meditation journaling practice. It's going to be a great one. So be sure to sign in every week and to catch up with us. Sounds awesome. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. All right, my friend. Um, have a beautiful, beautiful day, week, um, and month ahead, and we'll be catching up soon. Thank you. Namaste, everybody. Lots of love. Namaste. Ciao now. <laughs> Thank you for listening to our Nourish and Restore podcast today. To find out more about Nourish and Restore, visit our website or Facebook page, nourishandrestore.yoga. For more information on working with me, Nina Sachs, visit www.yogaaa.co.za. And to work with my awesome friend, Nicole, visit www.lov dash me.com links will be in the show notes we look forward to catching up with you next week namaste and have a nourishing day